everybody. We got a brand new episode with a super awesome guest. Uh, if you guys know who she is, you know exactly who she is. She is uh, the doctor who plays the violin. We got uh, Doc Blurdy violinist. How's it going? I'm doing great. This is uh, this is cool. Like, um, I remember when I first saw your videos on uh, on Instagram. Like, you like it's like, wait, is this person playing like you know, uh, Inuyasha theme song? Right? Like, yeah, yeah, it is. I'm I'm here for it. And like, is it's on point. Like, it's, it's, it hits every single time. But, uh, like, that's not, like, your your main, like, uh, profession is music. Like, you are a doctor on top of it. Hence, like, the name, Doc Birdie Violin. Like, like so, <laughs> how did it start? I, like, how did it start, like, you playing the violin, like, the anime tracks? So, it started, it started off, like, back in, it had to be, like, November 2020. Yeah, 2020. Um, we had started, you know, being like this whole virtual thing and like trying to navigate that they created a um black doctors blurred group and they were doing like introductions and it was like name your favorite anime name your favorite manga um tell you tell us something fun about yourself so everybody was kind of being creative with it and they're like you know doing like little tiktoks or um posting cosplays and i'm like i don't cosplay but i play violin and i i could do something cool with combining nerd stuff and um and introducing myself so I decided to play the Yu Yu Hakusho intro for my intro to the into the group and it like popped off in the group and they're like do you do more where do you do da, 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 da. and I was like okay you know <laughs> maybe and then I they just kept pushing me and they kept pushing me and um Akasha cosplay actually started um the the group the blurred group the Dr. Blurred group and um had pushed me also to just go ahead and get started. But well, I got started. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then I, that that's kind of was the start, the ground, and then the encouragement from them and <clears throat> going into like March of 2021. And that's when we got started with this. And I was like, all right, let's just do it. That sounds like fun. And I had a lot of fun at least playing the Yu Yu Hakusho intro. And then as I started playing more, I was like, oh yeah, this is this is something I want to do. <laughs> um, is there a, how long have you been playing the violin? playing the violin since I was nine so I was in uh third grade going to fourth grade that summer is when they um we had like our summer music program um and that's when I started playing up you've just been going ever since man yeah. because yeah you you have to tell like you've been playing for a while but you uh you're going to add it like a like a like a pro when it comes to these songs I see like uh <laughs> on your Instagram page you like like different recitals or concerts that you've been doing also mm-hmm like yep, so I've Oh, no, so, okay. uh, no, so yeah, I played for my patients. I, I um, I played throughout college, and then I played throughout medical school, like for with our gospel choir. And then I was like, well, I need another outlet because I hadn't picked it up in about a couple, like a year or two. Um, and I play, of course, play for my sister's wedding. So it's like it, I play it every now and then, but there was nothing really consistent since uh, I got into like uh, becoming like a doctor, working full time and things. Is there is there like a like a, a melody or a tune that like you you play like more than anything else like something that's just really like just gets to you oh I think I would have to say like Zelda music <laughs> really? I would, yeah I would say Zelda music because wow. that was when I was uh it was something that when I was in high school you know having playing like classical music would be fun whatever but like I would play with like playing by ear and just like throw in there like you know um, the Hyrule, the Hyrule um, songs are like the, um, in like just random music from the whole thing. And I'd have nerd friends that would like look at me when I would do stuff and just like, just like, just be like, like doing random stuff and somebody would look over and I'm just like, oh yeah, you caught that. You caught that. that. That's what that birdie comes in. You were putting that freestyle on there. I dig it. I like it. <laughs> is that, is that going to be like a progression someday? Like with, uh, with your work, like you put like your own spin on certain songs and tunes and whatnot. I think, I think that would be like goals would be continuing and like being able to like create music to where it's like, Oh, you kind of mesh, you mashed up a couple of different songs that everybody kind of recognize, recognizes that'd be cool. Um, but I have done less with like creation in terms of me producing, like me making music um from like scratch essentially oh man Ooh, that could be something big like a lot all, all like the the black gamers out there because you said like you're a big gamer also so there's a lot of 
There's a lot of games coming in. I know Melanated Velma, uh, Kuma, a part of that group. He's oh, yeah. big into video games also. So, like, you, you, we can see you making tracks sometime in the future, huh? My goodness. That would be so, that'd be so fun. Yeah, that's a dream of yours? Oh, I yeah, like that. So I like fun. it. Keeping that blurry dream alive. I dig it. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about you being a gamer, though. Um, Mario Kart 9 is uh, coming out pretty soon. Like you said, you're big into Nintendo and PlayStation like uh, before the show. Like, mm-hmm. tell me you were excited about that. Yeah, no, definitely excited. And then also with Arceus coming out with for Nintendo for yep. Pokemon Arceus, that's gonna be dope. I'm like literally, I have that pre-ordered, ready to go. Um, I just finished on the what was it? The PlayStation. I finished um, Tales of Arise, and so I'm a big Tales of fan. Like I, that was another thing that I just like really got into with JRPGs. Um, and then last year, Near came out, like the remake for Near. Um, but I just now like picked it up because I've just been busy. <laughs> um, picked it up to actually start playing through it again. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's. I feel like with <laughs> no like wanting to watch anime and also playing video games, like you have to pick which one you want to <laughs> be on top of <laughs> because I feel like the list just keeps growing for both. You have no idea, and like the fact that uh, me personally, I try to get into all of it, like gaming, movie, TV shows, like different podcasts, different videos, all that stuff. And like, you're right. It's, it's a hard list to keep track of for sure. It is. Uh, <laughs> when it comes to your song picks still, like uh, most of your stuff have been from anime, like from, from Jojo yeah. Bazaar, from uh, Inuyasha, uh, Full Metal Alchemist, Attack on Titans, Hunter mm-hmm. x Hunter. Yep. And like there, there's one from a video game that like, I recognize clearly, which is Kingdom Hearts. Uh, what, why why did you choose that one? I, I know you have Zelda as well, but like, like the Kingdom Hearts really stuck out to me. It's like so why you why did you choose Kingdom Hearts over so at many that, other video games out there? At that time for Kingdom Hearts, um, they had just announced Sora for Smash Brothers, so I had <laughs> to do. gotta do it. Gotta do I it. <laughs> I had to do it. It was like it was like oh man, because we've been asking for Sora for years. Yeah. And then when they finally did, I was like, oh, I have to do it. Gotta, gotta, gotta put, put my dude Sora out there. So and to help with um, Waluigi, let's get some Sora in there instead. Is that I know. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, because like, and then when I, when I said that, I was like, you know, I haven't played a video game. I haven't played a video game song in a minute. So like, this is perfect timing. Yeah. Yeah. It but I've done uh, Persona 5 too. That was, I did a song from Persona 5 um which is a jrpg too yeah that's right uh yeah. Like, that's, that's exactly what it is and so when it comes like to the genres of video games uh mm-hmm. what is what is your favorite genre to play i would say jrpgs i do like i i smash brothers has a special place in my heart like yeah, that is yeah. one of the things that i played throughout college medical school fan, aren't you? yeah, yeah <laughs> <you> like <were. laughs> wait high school <laughs> Like it was what we did when we were just like chilling out. <laughs> and, was like, that your was, first console? Was it Nintendo? Uh, yeah, it was a uh, Nintendo. Nice. Yep. Nice. So, so that like lays in, like a special place in my heart. Um, <laughs> party games, of course, like Mario Kart, things like that too. Um, but and then Pokemon. And I also started with Pokemon. So, um, wow. like back when the Game Boy Color and wow. things. Wow, like so, bringing it back, man! My yeah. goodness. Ooh. I, I want to say I've played every generation of. Pokemon besides I think black and white that was only Pokemon generation I actually did not play but that was right around the time where I was studying for big boards and things so can't can't, can't take off too much time to video games. Can't fault me for that. <laughs> I gotta I gotta ask do you, do you have any any nerdy tattoos I don't have tattoos um I thought about one um but I was like yeah now nah, I'll just hold off um Wanna share what, what, it, what it what it possibly I, could be it would have Zelda as good as nice. like my heart. It's, it's my heart. Hey man, uh, like hey, you, you love it. I love it. Like I see no problem with getting getting a cool Zelda tattoo. I, I thought about it quite a few times, so I completely understand. Yeah. What about you? Any tattoos? Uh yeah, quite a few. I gotta <laughs> as as everyone know that I love to show off. I have a a huge Batman tattoo on my oh, chest. Oh dope. That's awesome. I have uh one of my each one of my wrists. <laughs> yeah. And I have a uh, let life come to you. I'm okay own. yeah i'm uh yeah <laughs> i i still want to get all seven dragon balls on my body and i want them to be scattered around and covered <laughs> by my skin know. sounds cool right yeah sounds so kinda, dope. <laughs> gotta put like a, a, a scouter on my hip you know yeah see you get it yeah you get it. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling it. you're about that nerd life you're about that yeah, nerd life <laughs> 
That's awesome. That's cool. Um, to, to go back into like to the video game news though, like I, I know we talked about this also beforehand, and like you you didn't like you know you said you're not much of an Xbox person, but you heard that Microsoft is trying to buy uh, Blizzard and Activision. Like, uh, do you have any thoughts about this whatsoever? I I feel like it's just their. I don't know. I so I do own a PC too. So like there there's some benefit possibly with them doing it, but I'm also just kind of like, no, stay in your lane. Um, but I I, I guess I I <laughs> it's Agreed. more yeah, I mean I lean more like, towards like, stay in your lane. Um because I just don't want them to like decrease the quality of those games. And like it'll be de- decreased in so many different ways. It'll be decreased oh, yeah. like in like like it being exclusively towards the PC and Microsoft. It'd be like yep. decreased by like like the fan interaction. It'll just be severely decreased. I hear you completely. Exactly. exactly. So yeah, no, I'm not that that wasn't I hope that's not the move. <laughs> so because I'm a big Diablo fan. Like I love Diablo. Like over I have that game and it's still on my list to play. I have it for the Switch. And like I got it for like a birthday present, have not touched it. It's been in my my possession for like a year and a half. And it's on my list. Color it, color it inappropriate. But uh my my five-year-old, uh, when we had our switch before they lost it, he played uh Diablo 3 like crazy. Like he loved really? Diablo 3. And like, you know, I feel like you know, it's it's not really bloody. Like there's some some monsters inside of it, but he loves it. And like he loves Diablo 3, loves it. So uh, uh, such a good thing. You have a, a kid also. You you play some of your music for your child, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Actually, our playlist for her, like, go, so she's like 17 months. So just turned about almost, just turned a year in August. So like whenever we travel, we play anime music because that's what she loves. Like oh, I change it to B-Stars intro. She <laughs> loves that. <laughs> nice. The, um, on my page, you have like her her favorite sh- like song, and in- initially was like Ducktales, um, and that's, so that's what like, I'm that was her go to. That was her go to. Calmed her down one hundred percent. Like she would get shots in at the clinic. Just immediately, we get immediately after she gets the shot, we play Ducktales. She's like, ah! and she like stops. You got You got You got to tell me a story about how you found out Ducktales calmed down your child. You got. You got to tell me a story. I'm about trying that. to figure out how that even how it even worked out. I think it was like one of those things where, um, you know, how like you're trying to find something appropriate on TV yeah. to watch with your kid while they're like actually active in looking at the TV, but also don't want to watch something dumbed down like Blue's Clues or Barney. Oh, yeah. So we're like, you know what? DuckTales is a great, like my husband was more like, you know what? Like DuckTales is a great <laughs> show. I love that show back in the day. They just made a remake. So Let good. me put the show on. And every time like the theme song would go on, she'd go be like playing with her toys. And then he'd be like, do, 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 do. And she'd be like, was that bass to drop? And she just like staring at the TV. Oh, that's cool. And then that's eventually cool. she'd get to the point where she'd stand up and start bouncing and like dancing. And I'm like, okay, so this is your song. So that was it. And, like she'd start smiling. Just, like that was her song. So that's how we, cool. it's kind of it's like, like, it was wild how that came about, but that that's her song. Are you oh. ever gonna like uh, officially do that one? Like I, I know, like you got a video of you, if you were sitting down, it's like you're you're playing it for. But you're gonna do like a one for I the fans. To, yeah, I need to officially do it. I, I that is on the list to Ooh. do. Oh, um, I do us on that one. I hope a lot of people come in and sing along with that. That would be that <laughs> would be, be so, so great. cool. My goodness, so good. I, I have a I have a Disney list, and I'm like, I need to start. What? Getting, yeah, I have a Disney list. I need to start hitting some of the Disney list uh, songs that I have out. I did do Stand Out. Did I do Stand Out? Yes. I did Stand Out. Um, one of my way, way beginning posts, when I like look at the beginning, I'm like, oh, I cringe a little bit. But like, I definitely did Stand Out in the way, 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 way beginning. Um, but I, I probably will bring that back because I want to remake it um, with like better quality music and stuff. I get that. I get as that. I, figured out things as you kind of move on I feel like you're just taking your time and having fun with it and i appreciate yeah. that for sure for sure are you doing like anything from encanto like since like is that part of the list too it is since it's like i i try to kind of like some of the stuff i go by the hype like i'm like oh I you know that. um this is hype right now so i'll, I'll so i'm actually yeah. having fun watching it too so yeah i haven't seen encanto yet so i i will not i i have to see it first 
So I'll get like sometimes I get requests for things. I'm like, uh, yeah, but I haven't seen it yet. It would be disingenuous. It would be disingenuous. It just it just doesn't feel right if I haven't watched it. Like otherwise, you are, you are a true nerd. I love that. Yeah, I'm like otherwise. I also don't have as much fun when I'm like just playing it when I don't like know. So I'm doing like you're just putting yourself in something that you don't know too much about. No, no, I hear that completely. Exactly. Yeah, I've absolutely. actually started One Piece for the amount of requests I've gotten from One Piece, and I was like, all right, let's just do it. I'm about to start One Piece <laughs> and see what all the hype is. And what do you like, think? Well, what do you think? I'm of it? doing it. I'm on episode four, but you oh. know, I got a lot of episodes to go. But yeah, you got like over a thousand. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> That, 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 is, that is the lamb chop theme song of animes right there that thing just keeps on going dude yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what i will never have a time where i'm like dang i i, I i'm mad like that's that that's it now i have to wait for more episodes no no no, no you don't yeah i think crazy eight degree said it best like y'all y'all sleep on this anime talk trash about it but you like you know you always got an episode to watch and the fillers are fire apparently so yeah there you go yeah, that, I was, I was, that was literally a uh, quote from Crazy 8 was literally, I was like, all right, you know, I'm just gonna, that's fine. I, I have an episode, I have stuff I can just watch whenever I want to watch it. There you go. I think you made a very valid point when it came to that too. Like, I, I listened to him. <laughs> I did. <laughs> uh, so if people didn't want to make requests for, uh, for songs for you to do, like how how do they go? How do they go about that? Just like just leave some comments, send you a DM, or you know, comments, leave me a DM. DM, that's fine too. Right on, yeah. man. I'm all for this. This is uh, this has been fun. Like I hope it wasn't like as short as uh, as you thought it was gonna be, but uh, who man, like you, it, it's always fun talking to like like a hardcore nerd. It's always fun talking to someone like who has like like uh, I don't know, uh, an adult profession as opposed to. I don't know what I would call it. It's like more of a, a hobby profession, but uh, yeah. you, you're a doctor, dude. I said, that's top tier. That is, that is top <laughs> tier right there. Like I, I told myself I can be a doctor someday, but I, I don't have like the, the, the fortitude to put myself through that rigorous training and going to med school and like grad school. Like I don't, I don't know all that. So congratulations to you for like having the wherewithal to do all of that stuff. Cause I don't. <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes I wonder, like, you know, if I knew COVID was going to happen, would I have done this again? I don't know. But I'm here. <laughs> Trump <laughs> up, right? <laughs> You're a cool, dude. You're definitely cool. Um, is there anything like that we should be looking out for you in the future? Uh, so, you know, got some collabs coming in. Um, I've kind of dropped, I, I said, like, my couple of my favorite. Uh, my daughter's favorites are going to be coming through the pipeline. Um, like I said, B stars is her, one of her favorites, uh, probably doing, a, I'm probably going to mesh in a little bit of her in there, do a little bit of cosplay. Oh, 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 cosplay is uh, coming too. Yeah. For her, but I, oh, I, I yeah. want to do some cosplay for myself, but that would be, I think farther down the line. <laughs> um, but yeah, just definitely more content. I'm hoping to be more, um, I'm hoping to be more consistent this this year. Like I want to get a post out at least a post a week. So, nice. and so that's that's my goal. And like it's something I like I really do enjoy. So um, I'm glad it that really people are enjoying it as much as I am. It sounds like. Yeah, it's and like I, I see you. Uh, you did some posts with uh, uh, Geo and Always yeah. Jen. Yeah. So far also. Yeah. So. Yeah, those are amazing i i also think of this page as something that's really really cool that i've connected with people who i've never would have connected with um and created music with people who i've never probably would have thought i would have made music with so like um they were awesome geo is super sweet jen is super sweet i actually have a really good relationship with both of them and jen i'll just like send message to message to him like hey i'm having struggle like i'm struggling with this part like what do you think and then she'll like saying same thing with me um she'll be like hey I'm comp I can't hear I can hear it but I'm like what are the notes that I'm missing and like we'll just kind of like play off of each other and like help each other and it's it's a really great relationship it's nothing competitive it's it's just like a hey we're, we both have this art that we love to do and we're both nerds like and we like to create content so it's also been a very great experience. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Gio is a guitarist. Uh, he also plays a lot of uh, different color covers from different spectrums of, uh, of music, like from animated video games. And mm -hmm. Jen is also a violinist like yourself. Mm -hmm. And she does like different collabs for different, different people all over yep. the spectrum. So like you guys are all keeping it hardcore nerdy 
parkour awesome and like I, I am so here for all of this like the future of dog birdie violin is in. i can't wait for a shirt you get a shirt made you got to send me a shirt because i i'm here sure. i'm here like for like a a violin or like maybe like, like the, uh, the drawing that someone did of you like yeah the yeah you that shirt? Actually, yeah that shirt was actually made by another doctor artist um shirley whirl md who uh she's actually creating a book too but she like i i was really trying to get her to do my art and she did my art for me before she stopped taking commissions Love it, so dude. yeah so it was a uh, kept well, it in the blur the blurdy fam so the, the, the tri star yeah uh, the, yeah that was pretty awesome very nerdy exactly Dang. exactly <laughs> i mean if you're like get, get that tattoo somewhere like you know you gotta <laughs> document that also because we want to see how that goes down just exactly. just putting it out there <laughs> right Right, I know. Well, if, if I ever get a nerdy tattoo, I'll, I'll for sure have to post it. Ooh, can't wait! I'm so excited for this. Like uh, the, the nerdiness inside this community, it's just it's 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 it so it. It's fun. It's so dope. Uh, I ask this question to everybody who's <laughs> who's on the show, and like I, I gotta ask you this question too. You said you've been doing this in 2020, and it is 2022, so two two long years that we've all gone through. Like, and you put some joy in many people's ears and like i'm grateful for this like but what would you want to say to those people who's been supporting you since like day one of this what do you want to say to all those folks i just want to say thank you for keeping me like motivated to keep playing like um it's just been like i said this has been a great ride like that i'm I'm, like so grateful to continue um you got like all the comments all the likes have just definitely kept me like so excited to keep creating content um and it just makes me feel like, you know, like I'm doing this for myself, but also like everybody else is enjoying it. Um, but yeah, like everything has been, the the support is is just, it's amazing. It, I love this community. Like I had no idea before I came and started like this music, this doing music like this, what was going to happen. And like, I couldn't imagine what I would have, like, I couldn't imagine this, but it's just unreal to me. <laughs> just cool, like, man. Who would have thought like this is this this community existed? So keeping the joy going, I love it. I love it so much. Like uh, the joy is always going in this community, and your your experience is no different than like so many others that like, I've talked to on this show. So I, I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for what you brought to everybody. Uh, I hope it keeps going. And your kid is one lucky kid to have a parent like you putting out thank like, you to enjoy to everybody. So please keep it going. Please keep us posting like all the cool things that you're doing. And I'm here for some more stuff. Like, uh, definitely. Like, uh, yeah. What, what requests you got? Like, oh, what? I was hoping you were going to ask. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to uh, there, there is this one theme song from, uh, from a band called Goya. It's, mm-hmm. um, it's, it's a little ridiculous, but uh, Goya no uh, Machi Awasa is, uh-huh. is, it's a little ridiculous. It's a little silly. It reminds me of like, you know, old school, 90s, like California surfing video games kind of music. But uh-huh. it's an anime that I've never seen before. But uh, I've been trying this new thing where I listen to like the theme song of an anime. If I like the theme song enough, I'll go watch the anime. And usually I'm disappointed because the anime is not very good. <laughs> <laughs> right? I know. Right? <laughs> but uh, that one there, that, that Goya, that Goya uh, song. Okay. It's, it's, so good. Ooh. I just found it. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, there you go. You no, see I, it. I, I, it's I see good. It yeah. It's like, okay. It has like a cool beat to it. Like I was going to do a TikTok for it, but I was like, you know what? Uh, may- maybe next year. Maybe next year I'll do a TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That sounds good. I'll, I'll have to listen to that one, see if I and, uh, see what the anime is about. I, I guarantee you, you're going to you're gonna dig this tune. Like this tune is, is it's a fun beat. It's a, it's a okay. cool fun beat, definitely. Okay, for sure. Awesome. Uh. Dog Blurdy Violins can be found on Instagram, TikTok. Uh, you are you on Twitter? I'm not on Twitter. Everybody's pushing me to Twitter, but I'm not on Twitter. But uh, <laughs> maybe in the future. What, what other platforms are you on besides TikTok and Instagram? So everyone can know where you're at. TikTok and Instagram are the the main two. Where I will be doing more posting. Like my New Year's resolution is to do more posting and on Instagram. So not Instagram on TikTok. Hey man, um, we, we take what we can get. That's how I look at it. Like yeah. you, you take your you got you're a busy person. You're a mom, you're a doctor, and like you know, you're you're a cre- a credible talent like towards all around. So like you take your time, whatever it is you do, we are definitely here for it. Yeah, for sure. Thank you so much. And thank you for having me on. 
Absolutely. Uh, make sure you guys check out her work. Uh, if you got any questions for her, make sure you hit up her TikTok or her Instagram. She's taking requests. So there's that. And uh, thank you so much for all of this. I'm really, I'm grateful. Yeah, thank you. All right, this has been D, after dinner talk. Uh, until next time, you guys take it easy.